Nice to have you with us. Where where am I? People think I'm dead. 
I don't know. So uh, my mom wants him, and my dad wants more of him. <laughs> because my dad has taken my success in comedy and parlayed it into his own life. Often I'll get a call going, I need tickets for the guy who's going to do my roof. And I'm like, for what? He's like, you're giving me a deal, but I need tickets from you. So basically, I've been paying for my dad's remodel through tickets. Maniscalco describes his career as a slow burn. The first decade or so, which included an opening gig on tour with actor Vince Vaughn, was not always glamorous. One time I was on stage and I was in Las Vegas and a cat ran up the, the drapes. There was a loose cat in a casino and it ran up the drapes. And you know, this one guy wanted to fight me one night. He took his shirt off in the front row. He's like, where to go? I'm like, wow, that is comedy or that's it. I had no intentions of doing big rules or anything. I just I thought I would just do stand-up comedy and, and pay the bills and have a nice little living. That's all I wanted out of this, and it's kind of ballooned past anything I could ever imagine. Generally speaking, I think the Saturday early show is the best show of the week. Late, you tend to get, you know, people been drinking, there's a lot of chick chat. I'm not in the chit chat. <laughs> How many? This is going to be the easiest 50 bucks you're ever going to make. In recent years, Maniscalco has shown his talent extends beyond the stand up stage. He played dramatic roles in two Oscar winning films The Green Book and The Irishman. Why not? Dick Rickles is doing all the big jokes. I told my management, my agents, I said, listen, I don't do any movie unless it's a potential Oscar. <laughs> Next year, Maniscalco is teaming up with Irishman co-star Robert De Niro once again. The two play father and son in an autobiographical movie about Maniscalco's relationship with his own dad. No. De Niro being the actor that he is, he wanted to get to know my father. Now, when I called my dad, I said, listen, De Niro wants you to come to Oklahoma where he's shooting a movie, and he wants to, like, study you. Now, my dad is a beautician, and he has clients. So my dad's like, well, how much they pay him? And I go, what? <laughs>
Ahead on Sunday today, our highs and lows of the week, including the golden retriever who needed a timeout at doggy daycare. After she got so excited, she pulled the fire alarm. We'll check in with the guilty looking birdie. But up next, the beautiful story of a choir that sings to bring back, even for just a while, the memories that have been taken from them by a heartbreaking disease. I'm the master of time.